The American League Central takes on the West. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Los Angeles Angels. 2K Sports and Major League Baseball. And glimmering in the distance, a shot of the fountains. Angel Stadium, we're in Anaheim. Well, here's a guy whose name around Major League Baseball means hits. His name is Torrey Hunter. Will he be a factor? We're going to find out today. I'm Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Crutch with me, Major League Baseball 2K Sports. Starting will be Irvin Santana. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Uh, with Irvin Santana on the mound as a hitter, it's a very difficult task because he has pitches that move in every way with nasty break and explosiveness to them. You have to try to get him in the zone. If he's on the corner, you have to take the pitch because the movement's going to take it off the plate. Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. And yeah, so Johnny Damon leads it off. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. Talk about a club on fire. How about a 13 game win streak? And that's a line drive towards short. And the leadoff man's on board. You love the offense when it gets going that way. Stops at second. Two back. Here's how the Angels stack up on the diamond. Alexi Are you keeping an Ramirez. eye on anyone? Uh, Gary, Macy Asturias is a guy who has terrific athletic ability, agility to throw from any position and to make any play. He's some kind of defender. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Hit up the middle, and it falls in. Hitting streak continues. Oh, Alexi Ramirez's season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Third in batting average, third most in hits, adding the power numbers there as well. He's also ranked in the top five in home runs, so among the more elite power hitters in the league. And Paul Canerco to bat. It gets down. That's going to drive in Damon. That's going to one hop off the wall. Ramirez around third, headed for the plate. Now batting. For the Chicago well, now after giving up three right straight fielder, hits, the manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up in the pen. Gary, they're looking for Irvin Santana to get out of this, to make a decision to go right at the hitter. And he and his team are down just a run, but with this kind of mess out there right now, he's got to find some quick outs. Now, Gary, he needs a ground ball here. He hit up the middle, and it's through. Quentin brings him home. They need to get it out right now. I mean, this offense just has kept the pressure on them. They need to regroup and get it out. And Beckham's in the box. And they've not had to struggle here at the plate in this game. They just keep building on this lead. And, Gary, you can never underestimate the importance of an early lead. It can allow the pitcher to go right at the hitters and pitch with confidence. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average, first in batting average of runners in scoring position, and they're also number one in hits, a lineup that puts the ball in play, finds holes, and gets themselves on base. A real bonus to scoring runs. Oh and one Santana kicks and deals swings hits this one in the air down the right field line and that will bounce over the wall an automatic double get a chance to take a look here Steve this is a ground rule double friendly hop over the wall well friendly hop for the pitcher maybe not so friendly for the offense he might have ended up at third yeah you look at him at second base he thought he had another base coming Gary they're looking for Irvin Santana to get out of this to make a decision to go right at the hit. You know, he's trying to keep his team in this ballgame. This is a key moment because it could get out of control with two in scoring position. You know, being down three runs is workable. Four and five runs, it gets out of hand a little bit. He's got to end it now. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. The pitch. Well hit towards the middle. Oh. And so Pierzynski retired. And they get that run in. Here are the batters who've knocked in the most runs on our State Farm leaderboard. RBIs over the last 10 games. 
Well, that's a whole lot of runs batted in right there. And I mean, just 10 games? Come on, man, give me a break. And every time this guy gets up with someone on base, he's bringing them in, and he's also bringing in himself also. And it's Joe Creedy at the plate. Show no mercy. When the offense is going, you don't give up. Swing and lined up the middle. And in there, the White Sox will score. Now batting. Two hits Chicago the last White game, Sox. and you can see he was Jeff getting a little hitter. confidence Number as that game went on, and he's carrying it into this one with another good start. And Jim Tomey. So the direction here, Steve, for this lineup, just stay in charge. Right now they are. Now there's nothing like taking a lead early in the game, first inning especially. Get up early and score off. Santana's pitch swung on and missed, on one. And it looks like they're just going to keep pouring it on the way they've started here. It's going to be awfully tough to put out a fire here. In fact, they're going to have to do it with offense, not just with pitching. They're going to need to score runs. This could be a slugfest. They got him in a pickle. Cannot get back. He is tagged out. Trying to go back to second. Wow, they deal some serious damage. First inning really starting out with a bang. The White Sox are out in front five to nothing. And uh, we'll get to see Jake Peavy pitching. He's going to start for Number Chicago. Two. Steve will be watching how he approaches this Angels lineup. There are times where this lineup can be a challenge for pitchers. With the quality stuff this right-hander has, though, if he's on top of his game today, he should be able to get the job done for his manager. 1-0 on the way. That one swung on its line. And he's on. First batter up. That could be a good sign offensively. Well, anytime you can get on base with no outs to start an inning, you know that an extra base hit will probably score you. But even if the batter behind you can figure out a way to get on base, now you have the potential for a huge inning. And it's Howie Kendrick in the box now. Career batting average, 244 against the White Sox. He throws. So they can't make the play. But Jerry's to make the error right there. You just don't want to do that. It's just not good baseball. Here's the 1-0. Right and he looks at a slider that's in there. 1-1. One one. Right Can't make contact on that fastball. 1-2. and two. The pitch. There's a swing towards the hole. And Creedy gloves out. That will hold the runner at second. Let's take a look at the lineup the Angels have. It's brought to you by Pepsi. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? What you're talking about, one of the best clutch hitters in all of baseball, Hideki Matsui. Tell you what, you get guys on base and he comes up, your pitcher has to be at the top of his game if he wants to keep runs from scoring. Let's see if Matsui can come up with some key situations and deliver. Morales fouls off another. Well, that pitch right there up in the strike zone is a pitch that normally this hitter would drive. But the fact that he's in the hole 0-2, he had to take a more defensive approach, and he just fouled it off. Able to set him down there, chalk that one up as a strikeout for him. Fouled strike, and PB's got him on one. Pitch on the way. And that's a strike. Matsui now will have to protect that plate. Drill towards third. And that's going to do it. Creedy's there. So Jake Peavy holding it down. Works his Maybe a bit of an ocean breeze coming in. Anaheim, about 15 miles from the Pacific. Looks for a beautiful baseball night. First pitch on the way to Damon. Now a ball hit high in the air. Left field way back. Goodbye home run. Well I don't know what's going wrong for these guys. Extending their lead to six solo big shot. Alexi White Sox lead expanding here. Gary they just keep getting big hits. A swing and a miss. Ramirez strike one. Steve they're starting to run away here even though it's early in the ball game. Uh, the offense putting real. He swings and drives this one. And it's caught by Hunter. Let's check out the league hit leaders courtesy of State Farm. And here's Paul Canerco. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. And he starts Canerco out. 
That's it foul by Canerco. Santana sets and throws. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. There's a swing and a liner towards first. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Yeah, a little ways to go here in the season, the American League wild card. How's it look? Well, let's take a look. Brought to you by State Farm. Mariners in first place. In second place, the Yankees. Orioles third place. In fourth place, it's the Royals. Blue Jays in the fifth spot. And down at the bottom, the Texas Rangers. Well, wild card teams have had amazing success when it comes to the postseason. So these teams battling out for the American League wild card, no. Swung on, hit down the left field line, into the corner. Out of here, a homer and a two-run shot. Two-run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. First pitch on the way. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. And Beckham set down. Two away. A chance here to take a look at the Los Angeles Angels and how they rank in the American League right now. Third in stolen bases, fifth in ERA. They also show up in the top five in home runs in their league, showing that power is a major part of this club's offense, that ability to bang it over the wall. So Alex Rios, he'll try and keep it going. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops in runs scored, top five. Oh, what a drive. He smashed it. And it's going to be Hunter. And he's there to retire the sun. But they strike for three runs here thanks to two home runs in the inning. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. And it's Tory Hunter in the box now. Center fielder, number 48, Tory Hunter. Hit on the ground towards second. Back up. One away. A look at the teams with the lowest ERA for the month, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. Second, the Angels. The Red Sox, third. Fourth, the Orioles. And we've got the Twins, who are number five. We expect your starting pitchers to be pitchers that keep the ERA low. But when you watch these two teams over the last month, they're on the ground to first. Played by Kanerka. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Number 44. It's got to be Napoli. Two outs, bases empty. And now a check swing. They say he went around. Let's take a look at first to see if he did. He went. And so now he'll have to rethink his plate approach with that bad cut. Here's the 0 1 from Peavy. And two strikes on him now. Mike Napoli, he'll take a look at these next pitches very closely. Now, had some difficulty making contact in the game last night, striking out twice. You're out. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Mike Napoli is struck out. And they go quietly offensively in this half inning. Nothing across. The White Sox. The third inning. Quick look at Isaac Ian looking up. Last inning, that pitching gave up nothing. That's what he wants to see. Now looking for the offense to try and expand the lead. It's going to be Przinski. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. This one's grounded hard up the middle. One away. And Joe Creedy in the box. And an RBI single his last time to the plate. Robertson with a pitch. Right one. Swings and misses at the fastball. 0 and 1. Apparently he's looking for something a lot harder than that four seam fastball. I don't know what else he has because he's way out in front. This one into the gap, rolling towards the wall. And he's in at second with a double. 1 0. Designated hitter, number 27, Jim Tillman. Well, a good job right there getting on base here with one away standing on second base now a single will score him and Jim tell me right there in the top five and home run not in front on that one strike one 
Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Swing and a hot shot. Oh, mercy. Well, that did not miss him by much, but he got out of the way. Here are the bats making the noise this past month. The State Farm leaderboard, batting average. All of these guys, quality contact hitters. And, you know, when you're that kind of a hitter, it means that you can hit any kind of pitch the pitcher throws, and you're using the whole field. You're hitting it where it's pitched. And it's Johnny Damon. What a year for him. Top five in homers. One. On to first. Safe. Can't get the back end of that one. He goes right with the pitch and slaps the ball in the left field. And if you try and pull that pitch, you're probably not even going to get the bat on it. That's a ground ball to second base if he pulls that one. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. And Ibar picks it up. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. So they score once on two hits, one man left. White Sox have really piled it on here. It's Bobby Abreu to lead off. Right fielder, number 53, Bobby Abreu. Head up the middle, and that gets down. Abreu with a single. And Ramirez fields the ball. Now sometimes you make a great pitch and the hitter just happens to be lucky at this particular time. This is one of those balls that was hit in no man's land. Not a play could be made on it. That's why he's on first base. And Przinsky calls for the pitch. And he swings and hits this one foul. Here's the 0-1 from Peavy. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. Too late and he is safe at second. Boy, they've opened the door. Can Anaheim go through it? Number two. But when you're setting your defense, you don't set your defense for guys not to hit the ball well. This ball wasn't hit hard, but he gets down the line so quickly he's able to beat it out for that base hit. Too late and he is safe at second. This is a great situation for some offense. Well, that's three consecutive hits he's given up. He can't be out of gas yet. He just has to bear down and get somebody out. They don't want to go to the bullpen this early in the game. Called strike, and PB's got him on one. Ball! Looks at a ball, one and one. Called strike two. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. And it remains one and two. One two pitch coming. Swing and a foul straight back. Well, anytime you're behind in the count and in this swing and a rocket towards short. And that gets down. That will score a Bayou. It's Curtis trying to score. That's run number two. And I'm there continuing the bats are hot. RBI opportunity, Kendry Morales. Well, it's a little bit of redemption here, Steve, but you got to wonder if the uh, hurdle is going to be too much. Now, when you're this far behind, you'll take a moral victory, and that at that was a moral victory. Ground ball, Creedy, and there's one. And they get two, great double play. Gary, get a chance to look at this double play and the replay, and this is an outstanding effort to make the catch, get to the bag, and make the throw. That's a rally for And that's going to deny the chance at a big inning here. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Oh. Cutter just misses. One and all. At the belt, the 1 0. Oh. And he watches ball two. Ground ball, Creedy. He snares it. That tag, and he is out at third. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. LA wants to get back into. The familiar face of Mike Sosha. His club's moving in the right direction offensively. Last half inning, pitching is now critical to give his guys a shot. They try and get this tied. And Paul Canerco to bat. One of the best batting averages in the league. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Time to take a look at the on-base percentage leaders brought to you by State Farm. What a tough group of hitters right here to pitch to. They battle, they scratch, they claw, they find a way to get on base, and they really wear down the opposing pitcher. First pitch to Quinton. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. It's off the wall on a hop.
And he ends up at second. That's a double. Second base, number 15. Boy, we talk about a guy swinging it right now as good as anybody. That's his third hit of the ball game thus far. Let's see if this can mount a rally with nobody out. And Beckham's in the box. Great one. He's hitting 333 lifetime off the Angels. Now swinging a shot towards second. It's through. The runner's going to come home. Now coming to bat. Uh, now he surrendered three straight hits. He's got to bounce back and get this guy. He needs out. Robertson with a pitch. That's hit foul by Rios. There's a swing. A ball hit high and deep. Straight away left field. Gone. Goodbye. A three-run shot. With that three-run homer, they just extended their lead. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. AJ Here's the first pitch. Can't connect. It's 0-1. Sometimes we talk about poor pitching performances. When you get them, you get monster offensive right output, and that's what's happening. Well, no question. And when you get the home runs, I mean, it just sends such a message. That's why you get runners on base with this kind of power. You can blow teams out. out. And AJ Brzezinski strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. Now, K Camp shows 85 miles per hour in the velocity and not much movement at all. First pitch to Creedy. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. Over his career, a 265 hitter off the Angels. This one swung on, hit down the line and right. And Abreu is going to play it. No problem for him. That's an easy out. And it's Jim Tomey in the box now. And he's in the top ten in the league and runs. Robertson with a pitch. Ball one. That one's low and away. Ball one. Consistency, professionalism. He never seems to give up in at bat, Gary. He's so locked in this year. Oh. Tommy will foul that one away. Great. One, two, the count. Well, sometimes the pitcher's just better than the hitter, and on that particular pitch, he threw that breaking ball down the zone. He was better. So you just tip your hat to him and hope you can get him again. And that's the third out. Abreu grabs it. Well, they add a four spot here to extend their lead even further. White Sox continue. Leading off the bottom of the fourth inning. And if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Trunk bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And so Torrey Hunter leading it off. He's gone one for four in his career against Peavy. First pitch is a cutter that drops low, 1 0. This cut fastball is a very effective pitch for this guy because it allows him to set up all of his other pitches. And he looks at a fastball in there, 1 and 1. Strike, 1 and 2. Well, he gets the breaking ball right over the heart of the plate. He must have been looking for something else. That swung on and hit. Quentin's going to play it. And it's in there. Base hit. And that's going to bring up Juan Rivera. Uh, he takes this 1-2 pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit. When you're behind on the count, you just want contact. And he got it. Here's the 0-1 from Peavy. Line towards second. Back I'm able to pull that one. And that'll hold the runner at first. It's going to be Napoli. And the first pitch. Catcher can't control it. There's the throw. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. you got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and he came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sailed on him. In for a strike, one and one. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Lays off that ball two. Here's the 2 1. 2 1 delivery of fastball. Taking for a call, strike two. He's ready. 
Two two on the way. You're out. Swung out and missed. Strike three. Mike Napoli has struck out. He gets the strikeout with the sinker ball. The ball is moving, sinking out of the zone. The hitter swinging right over the top. First pitch to Abreu. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. The throw in time for the up. And Jake Peavy is heading in. We'll head to the fifth in at. Taking account of the ball game, there's Ozzie Gian. And he has to be happy with the work on the mound, especially that last inning. Insurance run so important. And here's the first one. First pitch, curveball. Swung out and missed, going one. Batting average, 247 off the Angels. Towards the middle. And it gets down a three for four game. Good hitting job. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. Great season, top 10 in RBI. Runner on first base, nobody out. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Ramirez will foul that one away. Uh, one thing they know they can count on in this lineup is his bat. He has been so consistently good. And he gets that one down, his second hit, two for four today. Damon heads for third. Yeah, Alexi Ramirez's season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Second in doubles, third in batting average. He's also ranked third in hits in the league right now. A guy that makes so much contact, that ability to put it in play, such a good contact hitter. With that three run homer, they just extended their lead. Well, he got every last little bit of that one as it totally clears the center field wall. Keep in mind, that's the biggest part of this ballpark, and it wasn't even close to being in. Well, that's a great swing and strength coming into play. First pitch to Quinton. Up the middle. And another one. It's contagious. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. And a look at who has the most long balls this month, courtesy of State Farm. Well, this is a list of guys that when they get in there, they're looking to do some damage to really hurt the opposition. Looking to drive the ball. It's not just about contact. It's about hard contact. It's going to be David Weathers on the mound. He's been chosen to take over out there. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Line fair down the line and right. And this one gets down. It'll head out towards the wall. And he'll stop at second base, and it will be a double. As much as you want to blame the pitcher, we're now talking about more than one pitcher giving up all of these hits. You Right now, you have to credit the offense. These guys are really swinging the bat. And Alex Rios up. He had a three-run homer last time in the lineup. Well, with this advantage right now, he's been a major contributor offensively and driving in runs and obviously the home run production, getting a pitch that he could drive out of the ballpark, putting some good swings on it. And the, the run comes in. Well, with that big hit right there, he only needs a triple to complete the cycle. But, hey, that's the toughest one to get. Let's see if he can do it. Now Napoli sets the target. Couldn't get around in time. 0-1. Well, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to short. In the second, there's one. Now over to first and safe at first. Close play, not quite enough time to get it. I tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. And by the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Brady fouls it off again. Swing and a liner to right center. And Creedy's got himself a single. Now we got a moment to check out the State Farm leaderboard for teams that have tacked up the most extra base hits this month. The White Sox, number one. Blue Jays in second. In third, the Rangers. Mariners fourth. 
And at number five on the list, the Rays. And Jim Tomey. And for RBIs, he's one of the best in the league. David Weathers gets ahead 0 and 2. Well, the hitter's dug himself a pretty deep hole right here. Let's see if he can battle himself out of it. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. Here's the four seam fastball coming at you in K King. Get a better look. So Johnny Damon thinks RBI. He is just a triple shy of the cycle now. Well, it's the toughest leg of the cycle to get, but if he hits it into the gap, look at him run. Cut on and missed 0 and 1. One for four in his career against David Weathers. Hit sharply towards the hole. And again, this lineup right now on fire. Well, he just continues to swing a hot bat in this one. Is that four hits for him now? Yes, it is. Alexi Ramirez. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Greedy's trying for the plate. There's the throw. And Damon's trying to stretch it. And they bring him home. He makes it. The third run in. And he pulls into second base. Good enough for three RBIs. Get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got to first base. That's how you get in safely to second. Looked at Weathers pitch one and one. Well, this guy has some great late breaking sink on his fastball. It's his out pitch. Hot shot towards the hole. Oh. And he's out at first. Good hustle by the pitcher getting off the mound. That's a good heads up play. You know, you have to know the hitter and his speed. Don't hesitate. Get over and beat him to the bag. They really go. And we've got his first batting. He singled his last trip. Number 15. First pitch to him. Is Durris. Oh, Called on. strike. And PB's got him on one. And you can throw the ball down in the zone with that kind of movement. It can be very effective. Ground ball, Creedy. And that'll sit down as Turris. We're seeing some late September baseball now. Looking at the State Farm standing board. This is how the Central Division stands. It's the White Sox in first. In second place, it's the Royals. Third place goes to the Indians. Twins are fourth. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. In the tough AL Central, we all thought the White Sox would finish down on the pack, but instead, they're sitting on top and making this all look silly. And he tries to get one down. Peavy. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. So Howie Kendrick will come up. The good hitters, before they step in the batter's box, check the corner infielders to check what their depth is. He looked around and realized, I've got a chance for a butt base hit. Well done. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Paints the lower outside corner. Call strike one. That is a strike. Kendrick, see how he protects the plate here. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. Two strikes. The hitter wanted the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. It's Morales at the plate. He has, uh, he's not hit well in this particular matchup. Just uh, 167 off the White Sox. Strike two. PB dominating in this AB. He's got some pitches to play with. And that's going to do it in this half inning. Solid outing moves on here. Jake PB. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. He's driven home three in this one. It's nice to have a bat like this in the lineup because as you're going through the game, you know you've got a chance to score runs every time he comes to the plate. Hits it out of the ballpark. He's driving the ball. He's doing a little bit of everything. He deals. That one goes foul. Well hit towards the middle. So Quinton is retired. And be sure to tune in next Wednesday. It's going to be the Red Sox on the road. They travel to Chicago to battle the White Sox at U.S. Cellular Field. 
That one will get underway at 8 Eastern. Now looking forward to that. That's going to be some kind of matchup, Gary. Good ball game. And Beckham's in the box. Here's the delivery. Shallow left center. And in there. He gets that one down. That's his third hit. Three for five. Now that so that'll bring Alex Chicago Rios to the plate. Play. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get Number three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. And he starts Rios out. Hit up the middle. And it's in there. He continues to get on base. That's hit number four in this game. Let's take a look at the State Farm leaderboard. Here are the leaders for average with runners in scoring position. So these guys can smell the RBI. They can smell that big hit in a critical situation. You have to love their approach. They thrive on pressure. He swings now and really hit that. And it's going to be Hunter. Runner on his way to third. Now batting for the Chicago White Sox. Third Joe Crady looks to knock in a run. Three for four thus far. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a smash. And that one's put away to retire the side. No runs and a couple of hits and two left. There's Mike Sosha. And some good pitching last inning. He now hopes to get the necessary offense going, get him going in the right direction. And here's the Ducky Matsui. Here's one that's in there called strike. Now that he's established the bottom of the strike zone, it gives him so many options. He can go to the breaking ball or climb the ladder with another fastball. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And Ramirez fields the ball. Retiring Matsui. Now a look at the Western Division race. Late going. Here's our State Farm standings board. First place, the Angels. Mariners in second place. In third, the Rangers. And in the fourth spot, the A's. And it's Torrey Hunter at the plate with one away. One for two in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to Hunter. Oh. Missed ball one. This cut fastball is a very effective pitch for this guy because it allows him to set up all of his other pitches. Swung on, lined over the first baseman's head. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. And that's going to bring up one Rivera. Well, this guy's got a lot of speed over there at first base, and it's not going to be surprised to see him off and running to try to steal this base. Peavy misses. He's out of the zone down low. 1-0 pitch. Hit in the air to left center. That's the second out of the inning. A quick break to check the leaderboard. State Farm brings you the team's terrorizing catcher. Number one, the Rays. Second, the Rangers. The Angels third. Fourth, the Royals. And fifth best, the A's. This team will clearly run. When they get people on base, they're going to try to put them in motion and put pressure on the defense trying to get the infielders to move to find some holes. Now so up next, here's Bobby Abreu. Number 53. Two down. Runners at first and second. Abreu. First pitch to Abreu. Strike. Called strike. And PB's got him on one. And you can throw the ball down in the zone with that kind of movement. It can be very effective. And it's 0-2. Abreu probably won't try and pull here. Shallow left center. And that ends the half inning as Ramirez makes the play. So, no. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Cruck bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. That's not where he wants to throw that sinker ball. He wants that down in the zone a little bit lower, but gets away with one up and away. And it gets through. He's had the swing going today on base three out of five. And that'll bring Johnny Damon to the plate. But just what his team needed, he continues to swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game, and he's on with no outs. And Napoli spotting the pitch. Ground ball to his tourists. 
One. Back to first. Not in time. One and two won't get now up to the plate. Well, quick so release by the third one. baseman. They get the lead runner at second. Just not able to turn Alexi. the double play. Ramirez. The pitch. Line shot into center field. And that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with the single. Well, Alexi now, Ramirez's the season plate. so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Second in doubles, third in batting average. He's also ranked third in hits in the league right now. A guy that makes so much contact, that ability to put it in play, such a good contact hitter. And he starts Canerco out. He's up with it. There's one. Over to first and safe. Very close play. They will not get the double play. They get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. Quinton. Swings and misses the slider. Owen what? Over his lifetime, 293 off the angel. David Weathers gets ahead 0 and 2. The slider swung out of this. Bring him up. Side gone. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. Stretch time here in Anaheim. Bottom of the. And we've got his Duras batting. He's going to get things going here. Home half, seventh inning. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Starts him off with a cut fastball inside, 1-0. Oh. Okay, Gary, with this big a lead here in the seventh oh. inning, it's incumbent upon the pitcher to throw strikes. Let's get out right now. And it's fouled off. We've got his tourist batting. Grounded out his last time up. At the belt, Peavy kicks and back up the middle. What a great snag right there to get the out. Tremendous athletic play. Eric Ibar. It's Ibar at the plate. Base in his last time. And the first pitch. That's a strike. Peavy gets it by him. Okay, one out here in the seventh inning. I mean, you have to like the way this is going. They're looking good. The pitcher's throwing strikes. The defense making plays. They've got a big lead. Everything feels good. And Ibar is retired. Don't miss the broadcast tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be the Red Sox on the road. They face the Yankees at Yankee Stadium. Game time is 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 Pacific. And Howie Kendrick up. Well, the Angels with a loss last night. So a three-game series sees them dropping the first. Chance to make it a rubber match against the White Sox. And he starts Kendrick out. Call it strike. And PB's got him on one. They got their bats on the ball. They just couldn't string anything together. Couldn't string anything together or push anything across the plate. That's why they got shut out. Not a pretty pitch. No damage. Ah, good moving cutter, and it's one and two now. Well, it's getting late right now. Two outs here in the seventh inning, and you know they're down by a bunch of runs. They need to start to get something going right here, Gary. Back behind second, and that's a base hit. Kendrick on it first. That will bring up Kendrick Morales. One of the toughest pitches to hit in baseball. It really is the one that separates the good hitters from the mediocre hitters. He stays with the slider, but doesn't try to do too much with it. First pitch to Morales. Foul strike, and Peavy's got him on one. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. He's Throws out. to second. That'll be a force out and the third out. And Jake Peavy is heading in. He's looking to preserve that good lead and get a W. And, and Beckham's in the box. Working on a fine second ball game. Three for five to this point. You know, Gary, I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly as solid defensively as the one he's replacing. So interesting move. Now 
okay. So that'll bring Alex well, Rios to the plate. Well, he talked about a guy who's just wearing out the opposition. That's a four-hit day for him. He is locked in. As the Angels turn to him in relief, he is just a triple shy of the cycle now. Well, it's the toughest leg of the cycle to get, but if he hits it into the gap, look at him run. 0-1 count as that started off with a strike. Look at the matchup, 246 against the Angels. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. We threw in that slider right there. Got him to swing a little bit early. Oh. Got to be a little more patient with that pitch. The one-two pitch. He strikes out Alex Rios on the swing and a miss. Got him to chase that ball down the way. Good pitch. Not real good execution by the hitter. It's going to be Brzezinski. He flew out his last time up. Runner at first with one down. And the first pitch. And he gets this one by him on one. He delivers. Swing and a miss. He's in the hole. Two strikes. Pitch on the way. Fastball got him. Two down. Well, 90 miles per hour on the gun, but still not much movement. And it's Joe Creedy now. Drove in a run earlier in the game. First pitch to Creedy. Hit hard to second. Played by Kendrick. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. No runs at a base. Leading it off, Hideki Matsui. Grounded out last time. Number 55 is Matsui's first look. Matsui. Oh. Nope, that one not in there. PV missing. Well, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. 1-1 one, one pitch. In there, now 1-2. and two. Even with the late movement on the cut fastball, you don't want to throw it up in the zone because a hitter can fight it off and muscle it over the infield. Swing and a miss. Three strikes on Hideki Matsui, and he's down. Well, clearly, the slider's working today. He's working the corners, getting that late movement, getting a lot of strikeouts on the slider today. Here's the first pitch to Hunter. Hit on the ground towards second. Back up. Out number two. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one in hits. A lineup that puts the ball in play, finds holes, and gets themselves on base. A real bonus to scoring runs. Now the 1-0 pitch. And he takes a strike on that fastball. 1-1. One, one. Uh, Gary, I think right now that uh, you've got to consider trading outs for runs if, if you're pitching. I mean, listen, uh, just keep getting outs right now. You have the countdown's there. You only need four outs left to win this ball game. Good effort there, but he couldn't get into position to make that play. Foul. And another foul ball. Well, that's a pitcher strikeout pitch right there. You get ahead in the count one and two. You throw that pitch up in the zone. You're hoping he swings through it or he pops it up. He got just enough of the bat on it to put it foul. And now we're going to see how this battle continues. Now with two down, they've got a man on board. All right, he takes this one, two pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit. When you're behind in the count, you just want contact. And he got it. The pitch. Good hard slider that time. He's in control in the count now. 0-2. Tough spot for the hitter right here. Down 0-2. You got to fall off that tough pitch if you have to. Check swing. Strike three called. Side retired. Solid outing moves on here. Jake Peavy. A half dozen strikeouts for him so far in the ball. And Jim Tomey to lead it off. And in this matchup, lifetime 281 off the angel. You now they're losing a little bit in the defensive department with this change. It may be geared more toward offense. It's just odd to make this move right now. Here's the pitch. And that's a strike. Tomei's going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. 
Well, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it. He's got no chance to hit. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. And when you're getting guys out with three pitches, you know you're dominating. That's a time when you know you are definitely in the zone, and he was on that at bat. And the uh, first pitch was a strike. Got about 0-1 right now. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. He got that slider in the strike zone. He got the hitter out in front to swing early. Foul ball. No home run that time. Swing, a high drive down the left field line. Goodbye, home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. No, he did it again his second of the day. And now you got to wonder, can he do another one? I uh, might get it done. I mean, and it's Alexei Ramirez, Ramirez now. One side. away. Shortstop, number 10, Alexei Ramirez. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Great fastball one. swung out of miss. Stowing one. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here. And he's struggling right now. Swung on, hit sharply to first. And that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with a single. Well, Alexi Ramirez's I mean, season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Third in batting average, third most in hits, and you can tell he has that willingness to work the count and get on base, ranked in the top five in on base percentage. That's a major asset for his club's offense, a table setter, a guy who can get on and who can score a ton of runs. And that'll bring up Paul Canerco. He homered earlier in the ball game. It's nice to have a bat like this in the lineup because as you're going through the game, you know you've got a chance to score runs every time he comes to the plate. Hits it out of the ballpark. He's driving the ball. He's doing a little bit of everything. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Sneak a peek there at Mike Sosha. He's reflecting right now. Not uh, likely a lot of positive reflections, however, in this. First pitch to Abreu. That swung on and grounded up the middle. That's one down. Uh, just having some difficulty right now trying to make up this ground. And, and obviously they've got a hill still to climb. And running out of time right now, only two outs remaining. So they've got to get something going and keep it going. Swing and a miss on the cutter. 0-1. Boy, that good late movement down that cut fastball. Unbelievable action on that pitch. Strike two. Strike two. Peavy dominating in this A.B. He's got some pitches to play with. Well, this is a tough pitch. I mean, that breaking ball up You're and out. in really can handcuff a hitter. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as a kick. When you love what he did right there, there's no time wasted. Let's go right after him and sit him down. That's about keeping a hitter off balance, and he certainly did there. Well, just a hello, how you doing, and see you later. Here's the first pitch. Swung on grounder. This might be it. And on to first for out number three, and that's going to do it. White Sox win this in a lopsided victory. Dominating performance, Gary. And about time to award our Pepsi Clutch performer. A terrific mound game, the work of Jake Peavy. Well, yeah, I agree. Complete games seem to be a dying art, but every now and again, someone tosses a gem like this one. What I like is that even though he wasn't perfect, his manager gave him the chance and showed enough confidence in him that he could get the job done and finish it off, and he did. When you take to the road, Steve, any win will do, but when you get this kind of offense, it's very satisfying.